Hello, my name is Kirioth, and this is Forgotten Land, and it is a mere 65, uh, 63, 69, 63 or 69 pence on Steam. It's cheap on Steam, real cheap, cheap as chips, cheap as cheap chips. And uh, interestingly, it is called Forgotten Land, and yet the uh, <laughs> the process, which I've just had to repeatedly put into OBS to get it to record, because of course I have. Is actually called Dreaming. Is it Forgotten Land or is it Dreaming? We just don't know. We'll go Ultra. Uh, that. Okay. And um, yeah, let's just do it. Let's go. I see. <laughs> okay. Now, there's a weird. Okay, so it just puts straight from the menu into this. So I'm assuming this has got something to do with everything, but can you see that line? That line that just is right through the middle of the screen? That's not great. What is causing that, and is there a way for me to get rid of it? Because that's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty ugly. Let's take the graphics down. Mate, I asked for Ultra. I suggest you give me Ultra. Oh, nice. So it put it on ultra, but it then changed the resolution. Oh, why is it only these games that have these issues? Why is it only these games? Why is it only these cheap games on, on Steam that have these problems for me? Is the line still there? The line is still there. Excellent. Excellent. So we're on the correct resolution, but we still have an ugly line across the middle of the screen. The question is, do we care enough to do something about it? And the answer, my friends is no. No, we do not care. Well, weirdly, it only seems to... It's actually static in the landscape. Look. Look, it's always in the same point. See, for me, if it was something to do with, like... Surely if it was something to do with refresh rate or something like that, it would be in the same place on the screen the whole time, not in the same place on the scenery itself the whole time. Which leads me to believe that someone has mangled something up real good. Uh, see, look, it's always in the same place. Anyway, let's uh, let's carry on. We've got an achievement there. I'll have you know. Nice achievement. Cloak. Man, that line is actually really starting to piss me off now. Never mind. Can I sprint? Oh, of course I can't sprint. I can crap. Oh, oh, oh that instant crouch, though. Oh, hey, that fixes the line. Look. Oh, no, it doesn't. It was just wishful thinking. Some interesting uh, light patterns going on there. Not quite sure how that's possible, but we'll, we'll let them off. There seems to be some floating grass. Yep, yep, that's a nice bit of floating grass. Looking real good there. Liking your work with the floating grass. Oh, dear me. I mean, if it wasn't for that annoying line that's in the middle of the screen that we apparently can't get rid of... Um, it looks kind of nice. I have to admit, it looks pretty nice. I'm not going to say it's ugly. Although that grainy... Can we get rid of that grainy effect? Why is the... What is it? Okay, I'm going to ignore that and assume that that's not what it's actually on. Or do I do I try and change it again? Uh, I think we try and change it again. If nothing happens, it was already like that. Okay, it was already like that. All right. In inversion? No, we're not going to do that because I'm pretty sure that just means that it will invert the controls, which is totally pointless. It's a, I mean, we're just walking. That's a thing, it's actually. Is this a, it is. It's a walking simulator, isn't it? <sighs> of course it is. Even when I'm not actively looking for these things, I still find them, which is it's like the shittest superpower known to man. Oh, hey, hey, what would you like to be able to do? I would like to be able to just find walking simulators. Whilst just look at, mind you, I suppose it's probably because walking simulators are generally very cheap. Um, and this is very cheap. Therefore, it is a walking simulator. Although, you know, people have been getting a bit more fancy with it. It's no longer 50p for a walking simulator. Now you can get 50p for an infinite achievement game. That line needs to just get lost. Look at it, it's always in the same place. That's got to be, it's got to be an issue with the game itself, right? And not my... Not my PC or my capture or my graphics card or anything like that. It, it's got to be 
it's got to be an issue with the game because it's always in the same place. If it moved, no matter where I looked, to be in the same place on the screen, then yeah, yeah, that would be my bad. But look at it. It's, it's always <laughs> in the same spot on the scenery itself, which I am not taking responsibility for that. It's not my issue. That ain't my problem. I ain't caused that, have I? How would I even go about causing that? We just don't know. Well, the answer is that we didn't, so it's fine. Oh, man. You know what? This might... Well, I might as well uh, use this opportunity whilst we... A bit of green on the rock there. Look at that, look at that line. Look at it. God's sake. I know I keep mentioning it, but I think it's garbage. Um, man, that looked real rough when we got close to it. Yeah, might as well... The light pattern is terrible. Uh, <laughs> hopefully this week things will be getting back to normal a little bit. Hoping to bring Total Warhammer back at some point this week. Might be next week. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you know the last couple of weeks have been a bit rough. My my grandmother had a very severe stroke and I was dealing with all of that. Because my mum was ill at the same time, so she wasn't able to do all of it. Which, you know, it's fine. I'm happy to help. Um, oh. I accidentally strafed. I often do in these games for some reason. And, uh, yeah, she passed away on Saturday. Today's Tuesday. So, yeah, a couple of days ago. So, things are a little bit, a little bit rough. A little bit, a little bit up and down. Got to keep going, though. Got to keep doing what you're doing. If you stop for too long, then you don't get moving again. So, just got to carry on. Hey, that video from yesterday, the, uh, the one about the Primaris Marines, um, like whether we'd want them to outright, it'd be, outright be like, yeah, these guys are definitely descended from Traitor Gene. See, that video did ridiculously well. That was one of those things where I was like, see, this interests me, and I like thinking about this, and I like this aspect of the law. But does anyone else really care? Does anyone else really give the tiniest of uh, of poos? I bet they don't. But I'm going to make it anyway. I want to make it. I, I I feel like it's something I want to talk about something that I enjoy talking about, so I might as well. Might as well. It won't do very well, but I might as well. No, no, it only only bloody did, like, 4,000 views in the first... Like, in like, the first 12 hours or something. Which is, I mean, for, you know, a channel of this size, not not bad at all, and it's still climbing. Subs have been really good as well the last few days. I don't know what's happened there, either. Very hard to track down exactly where your subs are coming from with the analytics on YouTube, but... Been doing like thirty to forty a day for the last four or five days. I mean, it's awesome. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. It's just I'd love to know why. It's really hard to find out why. Oh, oh, that's that's not great. Nice bit of flickery lake over there. <laughs> okay. The line's back. The line had disappeared for a moment whilst we were just chatting about now. The line disappeared, and now it's now. It, it's sort of back, but not really. Oh, it's kind of disappeared a bit. Oh, we can walk on the lake. I hope the lake doesn't disappear from underneath me as I'm walking on it. Being able to... Uh, oh, you can jump. Oh, look, jumping, though. I mean, I was kind of hoping that jumping would make the lake smash, but I mean, I, mean, I say that. I wasn't hoping for that because I knew that wasn't going to happen. Like, what, what world am I living in where that would actually be a thing in a game of this budget? Realistic ice effects. It's, you know, it's, apart from the horrible line, I could do without the grainy effect, if I'm honest. But by and large, by and large, this is not a bad looking, uh, not a bad looking thing, this. I'm now getting hesitant to call it a game, because it's just, it's just walking, there isn't even any interesting stuff going on. Oh, dog's getting pissy. Oh, we found a church, excellent. I mean, I kind of gathered that, can't get past that tarpaulin, that's fine. I tell you what, the do <laughs> my dog is going not mental, but she got very protective when my uh, oh, I can say it now when my my first when my daughter was born, my first baby was born, and uh, we're expecting another one, and uh, oh, abandoned house. That's another achievement. Excellent, and uh, yeah, she's she's even more protective now. She gets really sulky and upset when she's not allowed to lie on the wife and just, you know, lie on her like a lap dog. Lap dog. 
which is too big to be, especially when my wife's pregnant. She can't have that kind of weight on her stomach or anything. Um, and uh, if anyone approaches the house in any capacity, even if they're just walking past the house, she gets real pissy about it. It's getting to be quite tiresome. I've had to restart quite a few videos because uh, I've got part through the introduction and the dog's just lost her mind barking at the door. It's like, get, it's someone literally walking in the opposite direction. Could you please chill out? Could you just cut it? Just stop. It's, it's not necessary. Um, loving the use of just exactly the same church placed four times next to, next to itself. Oh, and a, a wall prevented me from getting to the lazy copy-paste job. Excellent. Good work. Good work. Um, truly, thou art game dev extraordinaire. Oh, can we get up to this one, though? Weirdly, we can walk onto this one, but only up to here, because that's where the invisible wall goes to. But we can walk Past? Oh no, we can't get up. Oh no, we can we? Oh, I'm ne I nearly. Oh, I'm so close to breaking it. <gasps> well, <laughs> okay. So we managed to circumvent the invisible wall, and we are now heading into the unknown. Uh. Oh wow. 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 There's no wall here. I could fall off. I could fall off this. <laughs> Look at it. I could I could fall off this bit. Oh, look at that. Do I want to fall off or do I want to see what else this place has to offer? I mean, if you didn't know what the answer to that was, then I don't know what to tell you. This might be the hardest we've broken one of these, actually. I'm strangely proud of myself. I think this might be the most we've broken one of these games. I mean, I've literally fallen through the world. <laughs> Look at that. That is the world up there. Slowly disappearing to a pale smudge. Am I still falling? I think I'm still falling. Yep, we're still going. Oh, what? That's almost... That's... It's almost like a beautiful end. A beautiful end to this game. Nothing happened at all. There's nothing of interest going on whatsoever. Um, there's no narration, there's no text. It said subtitles, but th there was no subtitles to be had. We got three achievements and then we... We descended gently into the light. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's Forgotten Lands. Or forgotten land, apparently. I've been giving it the wrong name this whole time. Who really... I mean, who cares? Let's be honest. And, uh... You can fall out of the world because the invisible walls don't work properly. Also, it's a game with invisible walls. And copy-paste churches just stuck on the side of a mountain that you can then walk off into the infinite void. Would not recommend. One out of ten. If you want to watch another video, then feel free. This is, like, mostly a vlog and nothing else, but whatever. Um, <laughs> there's a subscribe, Patreon, other videos, all of that stuff. And, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed whatever that was. Not much, really. I think is the answer. It wasn't much. Toodaloo. <laughs>